Spawning on Yonsu. It's a best of one in go for SC2 Thursday. And therefore, things are going to get awesome. It's to qualify for the 600 euro monthly finals. And spawning up in the top right hand position as the blue Terran player, it's Froz. Froz, for those of you who don't know, is a Grand Master Terran player on EU. He tears it up frequently in the GoFor SE2 tournaments. His opponent down to the bottom left. The Red Zerg player, representing evil geniuses, none other than Jadong. People watching on YouTube won't know this for sure, but this is definitely Jadong. I showed people on the stream prior to the lobby starting that it's definitely him. It's the account he used to play in IEM, and yeah, it's him. So this is going to be awesome. Froz, can he do it? We'll wait to see. Openings from Froz. Looks like he is getting himself a Reaper opening. Rax into that gas. Meanwhile, over on Jadong's side, he's opting for that spawning pool first. It's a best of one. And Jadong may not be too familiar with how Froz plays. He may instead want to just sit back and make sure that he's secure and safe as opposed to dying to some kind of aggressive cheesy play. Hatch coming up straight after it though. So not too much of an economic hit. Of course you get the queen out sooner and as such you'll get the earlier injects, you'll get the lava quicker and everything should be okay. Overlord nearly making it over to the wall off. Gonna be able to see exactly what comes out here. Not a reaper first, there's Frost banking up a bit more gas than required. Just one marine coming through at the moment. This could signal an earlier factory. He could, yeah, it's definitely going to be an earlier factory now because there's a second marine now coming through. So Frost not spending any of that gas on a reactor or anything as such. Jadon isn't going to be able to scout that instantly, but does now come back. Does he get the vision of it? Not quite yet, and a marine will be able to now force back this overlord. So the factory hasn't yet been seen. The second marine coming across. Jadong with two Zerglings out on the map. The first scouting overlord is going to die. This is a little frustrating. Adds a supply block in for Jadong, who doesn't yet have another overlord in production. This is going to add actually quite an annoying supply block in for him. It was about a 30 second block there. Quite infuriating. Meanwhile, for us, moving across the map with these two lone marines. They want to be heroes. They want to get some good work done. Just see the Overlord. Are they going to go back for it? No, not yet. They see some Lings coming over. Kill those off first instead. The Overlord scouting over to the right is almost certainly going to die now to these Marines. And this is great play by Froz. Utilizing those early Marines in order to pick off Overlords does a lot of damage. Lings though. Rampaging through the natural base. Or what is going to try and be the natural base. Overlord nearly managed to escape there, but has now been found. Total of five Zerglings. Busy attacking, busy having fun. Denying a bit of build time on this natural, but once the Hellions are in place, another SCV should get pulled and the command center will continue on through. Five Lings, still having some good fun times. And yeah, not too much else really to say at the moment. It's gonna be down to really what the Hellions can do. And they're on their way through now. But with two queens there, Froz just going to completely ignore them. Run straight by and head for the main. But two queens waiting up there as well. These two Hellions aren't going to have too much fun. One very low on HP. Should get taken out pretty quick. One Hellion remains. Is able to roast a single drone. Zerglings take a little bit of damage too. Froz attempting to keep that safe. But can't do so with that much. Meanwhile, Froz, he's adding in more Hellions still. He's got his natural base nearly complete now. That initial Ling harassment, picking off the SCV, constructing it, was really quite annoying for Frozen. Added quite a large delay. Jadong just pumping out drones for the time being, not doing too much else at the moment. These three Hellions, still coming through. Gonna just go straight for the drone line. One gets very low but manages to sneak on by the Queens. One Queen up in the main base should prioritize the damaged Hellion. Gets it down to just 2 HP. Couple of drones getting pulled out. Trying to act 
as a little bit more of a block to these head-ins, preventing too many from dying. Another shot could do a lot of damage. They line up very close. A nice number of worker kills. Eight now for Froz. Jadon, though, replacing them faster than they can die. And that's good news for him. Meanwhile, natural base done. We've got a third CC in production as well for Froz at the moment. This head-in with three kills still. Kind of be as annoying as possible. Gets a couple more worker kills there as well. Ten now in total. Froz's SCV count, not as high as it otherwise could be. Only down to 29, and that's mainly due to the delay on that natural. A lot more Hellions on their way across. We've got the second Evo Chamber also on its way through here for Jadong. Starting with a plus one carapace. Six Hellions now aiming to get up in towards the main. They sneak on by those queens, and this could do a lot of damage. The drones getting roasted. Jadong down to just 41 workers at the moment. Still Frost committing with more Hellions behind this. Good shots coming through everywhere. And this is not looking too good for Jadong at the moment. He's taking a lot of damage now. Frost with this aggressive play full of harassment. Unfortunately about to lose those Hellions from a great wraparound by the Lings. Has been able to take a third base. But this... Third could be in trouble, as there is a lot of lings on their way over. Blue Flame on its way through as well. And with Blue Flame on its way, that means these Hellions are going to be super effective up against lings, and also any drones they manage to get. In total, Froz has killed 20 workers so far this game. Jadong does now have his third back up and running. We're just keeping a close little eye on exactly what could be coming through. Spire for Jadong, going to be going up into Mutalisks. Plus one melee attack also on its way through. Plus one carapace quite a long way ahead. No Baneling Nest needed for the moment, just opting for as many possible Hellions as possible. Nice creep spread coming from Jadong. That is a lot of active creep tumors. Up at seven of them, pushing across. The Hellions though sneaking through yet again. Blue Flame not quite done yet. Quite a few Zerglings ready for a counter-attack though. Gonna be getting a couple of Froz's units caught out of position here. Those Marines get slaughtered very quickly. A lot more Lings also coming through. Meanwhile, the Hellions tearing through the third base of Jadong. But the third base of Froz being forced to lift. These Hellions still getting some nice damage done. Blue Flame has now kicked in, meaning they're more effective up against those Zerglings. It's also forcing these Zerglings that have just popped to come back to defend as opposed to continuing on with the aggression. Nice round that the Hellions do get taken down. Frost relands his third base. A couple of Thors coming through. The Spire is now finished, Burn. For the moment, no Mutalisks out on the field. Jadong does have a decent amount of gas banked up, so can start up those Mutalisks pretty quick and right on cue. There he goes. Also adding in the Roach Worm, just in preparation for further Hellion play. It's a mech style play out of Frost for those of you who didn't realize. Pretty much purely Hellion and Thors at the moment now. Those Thors are going to be incredibly important in dealing with the Mutalisks. Roachron, of course, is a good counter to Thors and Hellions. Probably the best one that Zerg players have. And that's going to force Froz to start pumping out a couple of tanks in order to deal with the Roaches if their numbers get too sizable. A couple of Lings again harassing into this third base that's incredibly vulnerable at the moment. Pulling a lot of the mules off the mineral line. But all in all, Frost keeping up economically very nicely. Mutalisks are now on the field. The Hellions just going to come running straight by. Quite a lot of Lings here. Managed to wrap around all of those Hellions. Take them out fast. And Jadon continues on with this pressure towards the third base. Without the Hellions, the Thors are very vulnerable to those Zerglings. The Mutas though, flee at the sight of the Thors. The splash damage, just a bit too much of a risk to such a small number of Mutas. More Thors still coming through. More Hellions need to be pumped out as well. A couple of Hellbats joining into the mixture. Just going to aid the defense up against this very Zergling heavy style Jadong's currently running with. Jadong now up to 66 work as he's adding in an infestation pit. He's got the 2-2 missile attack upgrades coming through. And his muters have just seemed to have stopped at the 8 count after seeing that many Thors. Aiming instead to try and get a little bit of harassment down 
but good missile tower placement should stop the majority of the damage from being done. Odd worker that does stray a bit far though can still get taken out. Infestation pit now finished up for Jadon. Should see some vipers added in once the hive's done. Vipers very strong up against mech for two reasons. Firstly, the abduct allows you to grab those key units such as Thor, such as the odd tank. It also gives you the option to blinding cloud over the tanks. Enduring Locust coming through as well, but these Thors could be in a bit of trouble now. There's a lot of roaches here, and with Focus Fire, the Thors aren't going to fare too well. Frost pulling all of his SCVs, trying to get in a position to deal with this, but the, the roach count just so damn high. A tank at the back isn't sieged up, but is still getting some nice damage down. Frost pulling all of his SCVs to try and defend this, but unfortunately with the Thors now taken down all but one, the Muters have been able to get a decent amount of damage out. 17 workers killed so far by Jadon, 26 by Froz. Jadon attempting to take his fourth base as well now. And Froz isn't really in a position to try and face off against that yet. He's going to have to just wait patiently to try and harass that if he wants to. Needs to get up a decent tank count. Otherwise, the swarm hosts that have just started in production are going to cause a lot of problems. And that's because without the splash from the siege tanks, the locusts are just going to keep on piling through and getting some real good damage out. Froz's Hellions, spotted again, the roaches clear him out nice and fast. Meanwhile the third base looking a bit more secure than it has been previously. The natural, still protected by these rocks, but the Mutalisks are going to be looking to pick off these workers at the left refinery, as it is uncovered by the missile turret. Looks like those Mutas actually feeling very brave, going to go straight for the missile turret itself, getting some good harassment down, but the repair from Froz is going to be on time. Heals up that missile turret nice and fast and a couple of muters are going to die. Roaches though, starting to work down those rocks. They're going to be pushing up and only one tank in a defense position at the moment. Froz can see the roaches acid spit though, so moving some more tanks back into position in order to defend this. Waiting for Jadon to make the first move up. The tanks should scare away those roaches for the moment, but these little critters are something that Froz really isn't going to want to see. The locusts already starting to make their way across. And as we see, with 12 swarm hosts already down, and a good number more on the way through too, that's going to be pretty damn scary. The tank count slowly creeping higher though for Froz, up at 12, producing two at a time. His store count still pretty good as well. Hive though, on its way out now for Jadong. He's adding in the second spire, ready for those double air upgrades. But Frost is making his advance now. He's got a good number of tanks and doesn't want to allow these swarm hosts to get up into too much of a sizable number, knowing that he can only hold on for so long. And this very aggressive play up against these swarm hosts, doing him well. Scans finds all of them and starts tearing them a new one. Unborrow force now by Jadong. The wave of locusts will act as a buffer, delaying. Meanwhile, Frost's main base is getting assaulted by a lot of roaches and those mutalisks. There isn't too much there to defend for Frost, and by too much, I mean anything. His production facilities getting ripped apart. These tanks and Thors aiming to just take out the bottom right hand base. But can Frost afford to lose all of his production? No, he can't, and he knows it. GG is called, and Jadong takes the game.